Modern cryptography is about to change forever and I'm breaking down why post-quantum systems are the future we need to prepare for. Did you know that the cryptographic methods we rely on today could become obsolete in the near future due to quantum computing advancements? It's wild to think about how the very foundation of our online security might be shaken up, right? Let's dive into this intriguing topic and see what's really at stake. In this video, you will explore the evolution of cryptography from its historical roots to modern systems and the urgent need for post-quantum cryptography. We'll uncover how far we've come, what challenges lie ahead, and why it's so crucial to adapt to these changes. So, grab your favorite snack, and let's get into it. Alright, let's talk about the vulnerabilities in our current cryptographic systems. You see, the encryption methods we use today, like RSA and AES, have served us well for decades. But here's the kicker, quantum computers are on the rise, and they could potentially break these traditional encryption methods. Imagine a super-fast computer that could crack passwords and decrypt messages in seconds, scary, right? The main issue lies in the fact that quantum computers can process information in a fundamentally different way than classical computers. They use quantum bits, or qubits, which can represent and store more information at once. This means that algorithms we currently rely on could be easily defeated by these machines, rendering our digital security systems vulnerable. We've already seen advancements in quantum algorithms, like Shor's algorithm, which can factor large integers much faster than any classical algorithm. This poses a direct threat to RSA, which is based on the difficulty of factoring large numbers. If quantum computers become mainstream, the encryption that keeps our data safe could be at risk, leading to a world where our privacy is compromised. So, we definitely need to pay attention to this evolving threat. Now, let's take a step back and explore the history of cryptography. It's fascinating how it all started with simple ciphers like the Caesar cipher used by Julius Caesar to send secret messages. Fast forward to the 20th century and we see major developments like the Enigma machine during World War II which was pivotal in secure communications. Then came the digital era where cryptographic systems like RSA and AES became the gold standard for securing our online activities. RSA relies on the difficulty of factoring large prime numbers, while AES encrypts data in blocks, making it extremely secure. These systems have shaped our digital security landscape and are the backbone of online transactions, communication, and data protection. However, as advanced as these systems are, they were built in an era where quantum computing was just a concept. Our reliance on these encryption methods means we have to innovate and adapt to ensure continued safety in our digital lives. This brings us to the need for post-quantum cryptography, a new field dedicated to developing encryption methods that can withstand quantum attacks. Now. Here's the exciting part, the groundbreaking research and innovations happening in post-quantum cryptography. Researchers around the world are working tirelessly to create new algorithms that can secure our data against future quantum threats. For example, lattice-based cryptography is gaining traction as it's believed to be more resistant to quantum attacks. Other promising algorithms include hash-based signatures, code-based cryptography, and multivariate polynomial equations. Each of these approaches has its strengths and weaknesses, and the race is on to determine which will become the standard for secure communications in the post-quantum era. Organizations like the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, are even running competitions to evaluate these new cryptographic schemes. 
The goal is to find algorithms that not only resist quantum attacks but also maintain efficiency and usability. This transition is crucial and we are at a pivotal moment in cryptographic evolution. Adopting these new systems will ensure that our data remains secure even as technology continues to advance. To wrap it all up, we've explored the evolution of cryptography from its historical roots to the modern systems we rely on today. We've also discussed the urgent need for post-quantum cryptography to tackle the rising threats posed by quantum computing. Adapting to these emerging technologies is essential to ensure our continued data security in an increasingly digital world. So, what do you think about post-quantum cryptography? Are you worried about the future of our online security? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos on cybersecurity trends to stay informed about what's happening in the tech world. See you next time.